Hello. You probably realise that there are many videos out there on YouTube, including this one that you're watching right now, that gives you the option to watch it in high definition. So you're probably now asking yourself, how do you upload your videos in HD? Well, continue watching, and I'll tell you in three simple steps on how you can upload your videos in high definition. Okay, the first step is fairly simple. Basically, you need to make sure that you're filming in high definition. Now, there's several different devices that you can use to do this, and it doesn't have to be one of those expensive high definition camcorders that normally filmmakers use. Instead, you can use either a webcam or even a digital camera. So for most of you, you're probably going to opt for the webcam, either a built-in one with your system or one that you've purchased. Unfortunately, most of these only film in standard definition. The difference between standard definition and high definition is your video quality. High definition is much better. But there are two different types of high definition. There's what's known as HD Ready, which is 720, and Full HD, which is 1080. These numbers refer to the amount of lines that are read per frame. So the more lines there are, the better the quality of the video. So 1080 is more lines. That's why it's known as Full HD. It's the best of the two. Sometimes following these numbers, are letters, either I or a P. I stands for interlace, P stands for progressive. This refers to how the frame is read. With interlace, the frame is read twice, first the odd number of lines and then the even, whereas with progressive, the frame is read all in one go. Now you don't need to worry about the I or the P. Basically, pick one that you want to work with and remember the settings for when you come to editing your video. So, back to your webcam. You just find out you can only shoot in standard definition. Now, all you need to do is go into your video settings for your camera, make sure that you're filming on full resolution, and that you're filming at the best quality, and that your surrounding area is well lit. This will assure that you are filming a better quality video that will be near HD quality. But if you want to use a webcam in full HD, there are webcams that are available, that you can use and just refer to the manual and that will tell you which settings you need to use to make sure you're filming the HD. Now as I also mentioned you can use digital cameras. Most of the new ones that are high megapixels, um, 10 megapixel or plus, normally give you the option of HD video in or high quality videos. So simply make sure you select the correct settings. Refer to your user manual. Currently I'm actually using the Kodak V1073 camera to film this on the HD setting. So that's the first step done. The second step is to edit your film or video. So to do this you need to choose a suitable video editing software that can handle HD videos and also export to HD. So first check your system to see what free software came with it. Normally with Windows, it is Windows Movie Maker, and with Mac, it is normally iMovies. Both of these can handle HD videoing, but you may need to upgrade to the most recent version. Some of you don't like using these free software because it limits your creative style or doesn't have enough features. So the next step is to either use a free trial or purchase a mid-range editing software. The software I most recommend is Sony Vegas 8, or you can use the editing software that I use, which is created by Serif and is known as Movie Plus. If you want to go even further and use what professionals use, you can either use Final Cut Pro for Mac, or Avid Express Pro, which you can use for both Windows and Mac. Both of these are industry standards and are very expensive to purchase. So my advice would be to try the free trials first before purchasing them. Now that you have finished editing your film or video, you need to export it and upload it to YouTube. You'll probably have noticed that there are many different file formats that you can choose. All you need to do is make sure that you're using the correct HD settings. So when you go to export, you will also probably have noticed that there are different file templates that you can use. These will already have the settings preset. So look out for either HD, 720 
or 1080. If you can't find these, you can customise the file template or even create a new one. So if you're going to do these, you need to use the following settings. YouTube recommends that if you're going to be uploading HD videos, it is best to upload the HD ready format or the 720. This means that the screen resolution is 1280 by 720. The bitrate doesn't matter. However, if you're going to be using the video for non-YouTube purposes, make sure that bitrate is as high as possible. The frame rate should be maintained at either 60 frames per second for NTSC or 50 frames per second for PAL. With some software, the frame rate will be 30 for NTSC or 25 for PAL. The codec needs to be H.264 or MPEG-2 or MPEG-4. However, you can use the Windows Media Video HD format. For audio, YouTube recommends using either the MP3 Kodak or the AAC. However, you can still use the Windows Media Audio file Kodak. The sample rate should be 44.1 Hz, which is CD quality, or you can use the DVD quality, which is 48 Hz. The channel should be set to stereo. If you're shooting in a HD format, your aspect ratio should be 16.9, so do double check this. Because for standard definition, normally you're shooting at the aspect ratio of 4.3. So now that you have finished exporting your video to file, you will need to go to the YouTube website and upload it. This is done in the exactly same way as before, but the process will take longer because the file is much larger. The file limit now is 1 gigabyte for YouTube, but the video length cannot exceed any more than 10 minutes. So hopefully this video has helped you and you'll have stunning HD videos for your audience to view. Thank you for watching.